Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Ali here. I am back in Oldham. I'm super excited to start this video today, guys, because the last time I came to Oldham, I had some great food, I owned some great restaurants. So I kind of want to continue that run of great restaurants. In today's video, I'm going to be going to a place that's actually just on my left called Toki's. I'm going to go there. They've got, by the looks of it, some really interesting combinations. So for example, they've got a pizza and they mix the actual crust with a kebab. It just sounds interesting. They've got, I think, a burger pizza as well. That looks like an interesting menu, sort of stuck out to me a little bit. Quite a few places have Alhamdulillah, quite a few places have reached out to me in Oldham, but these guys look pretty interesting, so I thought I'd give them a shout. Let's go inside and start this review. I'm very, very hungry. <laughs> yeah, so inside, I'm just having a, a very sort of quick browse at the menu. Looks pretty cool in there. I think these guys actually are just ch speaking to uh, the chap that owns the place. I think they've actually got a few branches. I'll link the actual details for these guys, uh, their website, all that kind of stuff down there. But I'm in Oldham today, but I think they've got a branch in Pontefract, in uh, Didsbury, in Manchester, in... I'm, it's, I'm just escaping me, but I'll definitely put their details in the description if I check them out. Like I said, they've got a few branches. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for something called the UFO pizza, which sounds quite interesting. They, like I said, they've got a pizza with uh, like a kebab crust. That sounds interesting. I think I'll get a couple of burgers as well. And maybe I'll chuck in a shake as well whilst we're here. <laughs> right, I'm just going to prepare myself because I think there's a lot of delicious food coming. And looking at the pictures on Instagram, they're not shy in regards to their portion sizes. So I need to just prepare myself. So whilst they're cooking the food, I thought I'll just chat to you guys, really. Um, I like this little menu, actually. It's quite condensed. And um, I just like that it's easy to read. They've got little sections, for example, for the pizza, uh, for the burgers. It's just super easy to read. I find a lot of people, certainly a lot of my friends, and the more I do this, the more people that I speak to, if a menu, and if you're a restaurant owner watching this, there's a little tip here for you. If you've got a menu and it's humongous, it can actually be quite intimidating for people to look at. So what they'll do is they'll look at it, they'll go, oh my gosh, there's so much to look at. They'll click off and they'll go and just eat and order somewhere else. So something to be learned from that. I like smaller condensed menus and this has that. So recently, I had my first ever Tango Blast. I had it in a recent video. Actually, they've got that here as well. I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the pizza today. This looks absolutely phenomenal. It's one of the most colorful pizzas I've seen. Super unique crust as well. So this is called the Heat Wave. It's got some pear chicken on there. There's some mince, there's some peppers on there as well. The crust itself is actually the kebab filled crust. It looks like, mm, of cubes of meat almost like smells like a seat kebab but i'll try it first um, and make my uh, opinion there it looks oh this looks absolutely phenomenal look at this beautiful piece of architectural food look at that it looks awesome right looking forward to trying this it's absolutely piping hot the base itself i'm liking the look of it it's a little bit on the thin side which is how i prefer my base because then you can really taste the toppings oh hey man the amount of flavor I got with that small bite. There's some chilies on there, which I didn't mention before, they're coming through. The mint has almost got like a Arpner uh, DSE style flavor to it as well, which is lovely. Base is not too thick. I wouldn't have, I think I would have not liked it as much if the base was thick. I like that it's nice and thin. You can really taste the toppings on there. They can sing. I'm actually just gonna pick up one of the pieces of the crust. This looks pretty interesting. I don't think I've seen anything like this before. It's a little piece of kebab. It's encased in the crust and then cooked. You can almost eat them on their own as kebab bites. It tastes like, yeah. <laughs> I'm normally one of those people that like quite simple pizzas actually, but I quite like that the crust has actually got some crispiness to it around the meat. The meat itself is soft as well. That's really good. Okay, so the next pizza I've gone for is still the same flavor combination. I've got the Heat Wave. I really enjoyed that. It's got a lot of good meats on there. However, you know, the first pizza had a kebab crust. This one's actually got a burger crust, or you should say like a cheeseburger crust. So if you imagine they've combined for patties of a, of a cheeseburger and the cheese, they put it around the edges. So I'll flash images of that on the screen now so you can have a good look at it. This, right, whether you like it or not, I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. It's unique, man. It's like I love when restaurants try something different in a sea of just burger places and pizza place. it's lovely when people try something different so i am hyped to the next level to try this so let's give it a go what i'm going to do guys because it's the same flavor combination and the same base generally as the one before i'm actually going to go for i'm going to eat the pizza the wrong way i'm going to eat it this side first because i know i love the pizza base by the way I thought that'd be drier because cooking the oven at high heat, it's actually retained a decent amount of moisture. If you guys can see the inside of that, it's actually fairly moist. I think a good way to eat this pizza is actually to fold it over and almost have it like a burger. 
messy. I really hope the camera's not picking up how messy I am. This stuff all over me. But the next burger, it's actually called the what came first. And I wanted to actually take the bun off and show you why it's called that. It's just an interesting name, right? So there's an egg and there's actually a piece of chicken, chicken egg, what came first? I thought that's really cool. But I'll put the bun on now and actually give it a big old bite. Also the egg looks super runny, which is perfect for me. So this has a piece of peri chicken, there's some salad there, it's in a brioche and like I said there's a fried egg there too. How do people like their eggs? I like it how they've done it here, I love runny eggs, I think they taste the best that way, that's just a personal preference. Let me know in the comments actually because I know that that divides people, how do you like your eggs? I like it pretty much like this, super runny yolk. The yolk is nice and runny, the chicken is crossed off. What I didn't catch was the red onions adding a bit of acidity. That actually helps, that's really nice as well. Well, no, it's actually, their slogan is, tastes so good, we put our name on it. I just realized they've got their name actually on the buns. That's a nice touch. This is a decent burger actually. Like I said, the runny egg man, you never get that in takeaways because this is no shade, any particular takeaways. Look through my videos and you'll see the ones I do it. The egg is so crusty, man, what, why? Who wants a crusty hard egg? If you put it in the comments, you like, hard crusty eggs and I'm sorry but you're wrong, you're wrong. I think this is my third trip to Oldham and it is impressing me time and time again but we've got some more food coming so stick around. Moving on now to the next burger, this is called the I've Pulled. They've got some really cool names here. Uh, this is called that because it's actually got some pulled chicken with some barbecue sauce and there's a, a cheeseburger so like a beef patty with some cheese and salad in there as well. One thing which I haven't mentioned actually on the other burger and this one is they have a, quite, quite hard to describe, they, they taste fairly lean, they don't taste too fatty, they don't taste greasy, they've got a, an almost clean vibe to them actually. That's, I'm not sure if I'm wording that in the best way, but sometimes when you eat a really fatty pizza or maybe burger as well for sure, you have, it's a bit greasy, you feel a bit horrible afterwards. Here, I don't really feel that, which is, which is really nice. There's so much protein in that. The actual chunks of chicken are massive. The beef patty, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's, Thick and it is heavy so there's a good amount of meat in there for sure there's a good amount of sauce in there as well do you know what I would actually eat this after the gym and I'm not even just saying that it actually feels fairly lean okay so the next thing looks absolutely awesome this is called a chip pizza I had my first one at a different place in Oldham actually Lucky's this one's very different this looks phenomenal it's still got the heat wave topping so you can probably tell I enjoyed those flavor combinations they're just really good, man. They're really good, so I thought, why not? This is on, so yeah, if you imagine the chipizza toppings, you've got the cheese, the minced meat, the chicken, you've got the peppers, all that kind of stuff. If you imagine that on top of curly fries, you've essentially got a chipizza. This looks absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna take a massive, oops, <laughs> take two. This looks awesome. I'm gonna take a big old bite full of this, I think. This is so good because the curly fries still retain some of their crunch. Yeah, you've got cheese on there, you've got lots of meats that are super flavorful, but the curly fries, they still have their crunch. That is awesome. Before you guys leave, I think what I'm gonna do is actually go for a milkshake. I think these guys are quite famous for their shakes. Uh, so I think I'll, I'll try that. I feel if I come here, these guys are known for shakes. I kind of have to have one. But before I do that, I realized I haven't had plain chips. So I've got myself a big old portion of plain chips. I'll have these before I order the milkshake. I've got a couple of their sauces as well. So we've got garlic and then we've got chili mayo. Let's try these. Let's go for garlic first. Garlic is good, but the chips are awesome. Oh, piping hot. I'm not quite sure what seasoning they use on that. Um, these chips are nice, actually. They've got a really good crunch to them. They're super, super hot. And they've actually got, I'm not sure if it's the oil they cook them in, if it's a type of seasoning they put on the potato. I'm not fully sure where that taste is coming from, but it's delicious. Okay, so moving on now to the dessert section of the video. How amazing does this milkshake look? It looks flavorful and colorful and like opulent. It looks phenomenal. This is called the I'll have what she's having. If you get the reference, I'm this close to doing an impression of that scene, but this is a PG rated channel, so I'm not gonna do it here. <laughs> this has got some strawberries up in there. There's got some Ferrero Rocher. There's a flake, I believe. There's a load of cream. There's some strawberry sauce. There's some chocolate sauce. Like I said, super opulent. It's really, really indulgent. So I'm looking forward to having a big old sip of this. As messy as I am, I'm gonna try and not make any more mess in here. I'm sorry to the employees of Toki's. I'm just a messy dude, but I'll try and tidy up after I leave. <laughs> Something that I like about that is I've had quite a few strawberry milkshakes that have like chocolate and blended strawberries. Here, there's a ton of strawberries so it actually comes through because often strawberry gets lost in the flavor of chocolate and milk. You can barely taste it here. It's like really strong, so it really comes through. So therefore, that's really nice. 
I would say for me, after a meal, that's quite heavy, so I'll probably have it on its own. I would not have it at the end of a meal. It's, it's way too heavy. It's, it's just too dense for me. But on its own, it's a very good shake. Also, they do Biscoff cheesecake as well, so I thought I'd give that a go. Look at the layers on that. There's a ton of layers going on there. I'm gonna try and get my fork as deep as I can into that. Okay, not that deep because I'm realizing I'm not going to fit it into my mouth, so. Just before I have this, does anyone have the Biscoff ice cream? It's like a stick, it looks like a Magnum, unreal. Good amount of Biscoff in there. There's a ton of like cream and cheese. I like that because there's so much there, the cheese is quite obviously fairly strong, fairly indulgent, fairly heavy. They put a few layers of Biscoff, an actual base, just to kind of balance it out. You need a bit of crumb, right? Because if you don't have these sort of layers of biscuit, it will just be a ton of cheese and cream and it will just be way, way too heavy. So you need that just to break it down. Really clever, really nice. Right guys, so that is my review for Tokis. Like I said, they've got quite a few branches. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave their details in the description. As you can probably tell, I was just completely blown away by the pizzas. I enjoyed the burgers. Yeah, awesome, awesome place. Oldham has done it again. This place rocks. Check them out. I do highly, highly recommend them. Any place I guess a hey man, I recommend. <laughs> if you're from Oldham and you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit subscribe because I've actually got a ton more coming this week. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, 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 bye,